this lecture we'll talk about fixed assets like equipment, real estate, those sorts of things, um, automobiles, that sort of thing, um, and the capital budgeting process, which is deciding whether or not it makes sense to make that investment. Up to this point, we focused on short-term financing, financial management, having enough cash to run your business and buy the materials you need and the like. But managing the long-term assets and liabilities and the owner's equity portion of the balance sheet is important for the long-term health of the business to manage growth and the like. Long-term fixed assets are expected to last for many years. They might be production facilities like plants or equipment, office equipment, heavy machinery, furniture, automobiles, and many other things. In today's competitive world, companies need the most technologically advanced modern facilities and equipment that they can afford. These often carry high price tags and the debt incurred to fund these investments is substantial. One approach is leasing assets such as equipment, machines, and buildings. There are two kinds of leases, capital leases and operating leases. Capital leases are long-term contracts and they show up on the balance sheet whereas the operating lease is a short-term cancelable, cancelable lease that does not show up on the balance sheet because it's, it can immediately be, be terminated if necessary. It's not a long-term lease. One of the most important jobs a financial manager has, has is to decide what fixed asset projects and investment to purchase or to complete because they will earn profits and increase the value of the overall organization. The process of analyzing the needs of the business and selecting the assets that will maximize the value of the company is called capital budgeting. And the capital budget is the amount of money budgeted for investments in such long-term assets as equipment, real estate, and the like. Capital budgeting does not end with the selection and purchase because all assets must be continually reevaluated re to ensure they align with the company needs. Budgeting is not an exact process and managers must be flexible when new information is available. Reviewing their capital program, reviewing the assets being purchased and being maintained, deciding what's appropriate and when one must change direction. This is looking into the future and requires financial forecasting, as we described in earlier, uh, one of the earlier modules, a pro forma balance sheet and cash flow and incremental analysis about whether this will improve or hurt the business in the long term. This is the capital budgeting process. Every investment carries some risk. This slide ranks potential investment projects according to estimated risk. When considering investments overseas, for example, risk assessment must include political climate and economic stability of the region. Expanding into new markets is riskier than introducing a new product into an already familiar market, for example, or adding a new product line in an already existing marketplace. Buying new equipment is riskier than preparing, repairing old machinery, for example. So there's, very, there's a lot of differences in the kinds of equipment and, um, and the risk associated with that. And that's, that's measured by different financial metrics. In particular, something is called the discount rate, which is the amount of risk in future cash flows that come from that business, from that investment. Pharmaceutical companies spend millions of dollars on developing drugs such as Zyprexia without knowing for sure whether the drug will pass FDA approval. This, is, this shows how much risk there can be in a huge investment in developing a new drug. This is, the, the pharmaceutical industry is one example, but almost all cases when you're looking at investing in capital going forward or investment in long-term projects, there's, you have to evaluate the risk. So let's talk about that in the next, for a second. The longer a project asset is expected, expected to last, the greater its potential risk. This is because it's difficult to predict how long the value from that asset will continue to drive value for the firm. You also don't quite know when it will become obsolete and you don't necessarily know whether or not it will be replaced by a different kind of product. 
The level of a project's risk is also affected by the stability and the competitive nature of the marketplace and the world economy in general, whether this remains the best possible way to meet a, a customer need in the economy. Dramatic changes in the working in, in the marketplace are not uncommon and so the assessing the risk becomes an important part of financial management of any firm or operation, whether it's for profit or not for profit. Risk, does, risk is something we all face in organizations as we look forward into an uncertain future. So let's talk for a minute about pricing long-term money. Returns from any product project must cover not only its operating cost, but also the interest expense on the debt that's used to finance the project and the risk associated with that investment. The most efficient and profitable companies attract the lowest cost funds because they typically offer high returns to those that will lend them money or give them money with relatively low risk. So they could go and, and engage in more projects. Have to be a little careful because companies like that could become could start to invest in riskier assets because their borrowing costs are so low which then increases the risk profile of the company these are the things that have to be managed in financial management new companies have strong or have a strong motivation to use financial resources wisely because they will over time reduce the cost of their funds by showing that they can deliver high returns and make their payments on time. So that reduces their financial, the, the costs associated with financing into the future. It's important to develop that reputation so that the, uh, the financial markets will provide the funds that are needed over the long term. As you can see, the uncertainty of the future and managing the risk profile with successful projects is one of the keys to effective business success. In the next uh, lecture, we'll talk about the long term and how one finances the long term. First, we'll talk about debt.